this is Sarim Khan and today I am returned with my new question on kinematics for JEE and so today we are going to solve this question that is really a very interesting question. So before starting this question, first of all let me tell you that this question is a multiple option correct type. Means in this one can be also correct one option since four options are given. One can be correct, two can be correct, three can be correct and four can be also correct. So first of all one by one all options options will have to try. So if one imagine B our answer is coming. So we do not have to do such that B answer has come then C and D will not try. We do not have to do such because maybe if B is correct then C and D may be also correct. So this question we are going to start that asks us that a group of honeybee shift from one tree to another tree 500 meters apart in three hours. Each honeybee um, moth are on zigzag path with a speed of 60 meters per second. This is our question. So later it says to us in option A that the average velocity is 5 by 108 meters per second. In option B it says to us that no actually average velocity is 60 meters per second. In option C it says that the total distance traveled by each bee is 648 kilometers and D is all of the above okay all of the above since but all of the above can't be correct of course by seeing it we can tell because it tells that average velocity is so much and B tells that it is so much so all of the above can't correct be correct if this is correct then this can't be correct if this is correct this can't be correct so let us first of all try to solve this question after that we'll tell whether which of the following options are correct then first of all we'll find the average velocity for that let me make the graph here imagine this is one tree and here just is another tree later what i say that uh, there is a group of honeybee that shift from this tree to this tree okay on zigzag path means like this they may go like this okay in such a path they may go okay in three hours time taken t we can write as three hours and actually what the displacement of them is that is 500 meters how do i say such because the both trees are 500 meters apart from each other that's why the line joining the initial point to the final point is called displacement that is 500 meters Okay, this information has been given. First of all, it has been given average velocity. So average velocity formula, everybody know. What is the formula for average velocity? Okay, average velocity I can write as the total. Okay, I can write as this delta s by delta t such can i write net displacement by net time such of course i can write if i put the values in this what is the net displacement since in question it has been given 500 meters apart means this line will be of the length 500 meters and a line joining initial point to the final point is of course called displacement what is the displacement 500 meters so 500 meters divided by the delta t since we have been given that in the options it is in meters per second means the si unit for velocity but here this hour is not the si unit so first of all we will try to convert it into seconds which is the si unit so since we know that 3 hours is equal to how many minutes first in minutes 3 hours will be 3 into 60 minutes that is 180 minutes so many will be which is equals to what which is equals to 180 into 60 seconds we need in seconds because second is the si unit of time so this we can calculate uh, this will be of course uh, 10800 seconds in seconds 10800 seconds so now we can put value here 10800 seconds okay now two zeros and two zeros cancel each other which is equals to what 5 by 108 meters per second average velocity is 5 by 108 meters per second then we can write that the here in this case this is our average velocity then can option first be correct of course average velocity is 5 by 108 meters per second can option a be correct of course it is totally correct okay but option b can't be correct because average velocity is 60 meter per second 5 by 108 is not equals to 60 then how it can be correct so uh, our option number b is wrong now we will try to solve for the option number c that is the total distance 
डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाई ईच बी इज सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी एट किलोमीटर्स देन फॉर दैट वॉट वी नीड सिंस वी नो दैट वी इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट एस बाई टी implies that the s is equals to vt s is equals to vt or the distance covered is equals to speed multiplied by the time what is the distance covered we have to find out the same thing because this is the displacement but they are going on zigzag path means this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this this is the distance covered but how shall we find using our formulas we can easily do it which is equals to what first of all speed is already given in question so we can easily do it 60 meter per second 60 meter per second into the time what is actually time taken here of course since we know it has been given 3 hours okay 3 hours and 3 hours means 10800 seconds so into 10800 Zero zero seconds. So here second and second cancelled. Okay, which is equals to what? Which is equals to? Now we'll multiply them. So zero 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 and uh, actually this is six forty eight. Zero zero zero. This is in meters. Since second and second cancel each other, or you can also say that actually the SI unit for distance travelled is meters. So like this also you can say. So six four eight zero 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 meters. So many meters. But since we know that it is a very large unit, very large unit. So if we want, then we can just shorten it. How we can do it? That is six hundred and forty eight. Kilometers. Since we know, can we write it six forty eight into ten cube meters? Of course, ten cube meters means one kilometer. Then six hundred forty eight kilometers. Of course, we can do. Then can option number C be correct? Total distance travelled by each B is six hundred and forty eight kilometers. Matching to our answer, option number C is also correct. So first A is correct, then C is correct, and D can't be correct because since we know it talks about the all of the above. Because B is not correct, then D is. Also not correct. So our correct answers are option number A and option number C. Those are our correct answers. So this was my today's topic based over a very nice and interesting question on kinematics for JEE. Thank you.